Sunshine State tonight. It looks like he's going to win that today. Thanks, right, Bill. Bill we'll be back on. to you shortly. Uh, the Fox News Decision Desk can now project that Democrats will retain control of the House of Representatives and expand their majority by at least five seats. That's a major boost for Democratic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who has pledged to roll back much of President Trump's first term agenda if he loses re-election. So uh, some thoughts on that from our panel. Dana, there have been projections that uh, Democrats could pick up as many as 15 seats um, in the most recent Cook political analysis. Your thoughts on that call? Well, again, um, the suburbs, right? So Carl just mentioned it. We brought it up a few times. If you think back to 2018, when we were here doing midterm election analysis, um, the there were 18 seats that the Democrats were able to flip from red to blue. That was a lot. That was enough to get Nancy Pelosi back into the speaker's role. Um, now remember, those 18 were against impeachment of the president. They wanted her to be much more um, conciliatory towards the president when it came to a second stimulus bill that never came. And yet they all held on. They were able to raise much more money than the Democrats. They have this as Carl, uh, than the Republicans. Carl is mentioning Act Blue. Th they were just flooded with money. So they were able to hold on to those seats. And not, not only that, but then they gained another five, as if this is analysis is accurate, maybe even more. And I think that when you look at the suburban districts, that will be interesting. And one other point on that is this is 2020, so it's the beginning of a new decade. That means that we have a census and you will have redistricting opportunities. State legislatures all across this country as well could be you know, changing again. And will Democrats decide to kind of try to yeah. solidify those gains? It's very hard to flip those back. You know, on your thoughts to up about up. this, about the House, Speaker Pelosi will yeah. retain control. She's obviously been doing this in negotiation that was going nowhere with Treasury Secretary Mnuchin, uh, and the coronavirus stimulus never came to be uh, before the election. She holds on to control. It depends on what, what the rest of uh, Washington looks like, uh, how the House deals with it. Well, I think the key point that strikes me is that picking up on something Dana was just saying, you see that these suburban districts really respond well to moderate Democrats. And yet, and you know, in Trump world, oftentimes uh, when they talk about the House, they talk about the squad, AOC, and that becomes kind of the leading figure, the, the, the face of Democrats in the House. But in reality, going back to 2018, the people who boosted those Demo the Democratic prospects in the House were these moderate and oftentimes female Democratic candidates recruited by Pelosi and a lot of the fundraisers. And I think that that's what you're seeing now grow. I don't think that uh, the fact the way that we talk about the House is in accord with the reality of the House in terms of the way Pelosi has managed it and in terms of the people who get elected to the House right now on the Democratic side. Some Republicans are envious of the way she cracks the whip and keeps everybody in line in the House of Representatives as far as votes for Democrats, and she'll continue to do that. Uh, maybe the most consequential race is still too early to call, including Florida, 29 electoral votes. Uh, as you took, take a look at our probability meter, 93 percent. We have not we have not called it, but 93 percent for President Trump. Votes that could make or break President Trump. Electoral votes on the way to 270. We'll be right back.